Facebook Live, man. All over the world streaming. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Big Hit, Big Hit. Big E. in the house. Welcome. Big E. From Big E TV. It's Friday. Woo. I need to listen to some Pearl Jam. Brave in the elements, as they say. Big E. I, uh, oh, hey, Gail, what's happening? We get the. We're down here on the uh, First Nations lands, I'm sure, no doubt. Hey, hey, I got nothing to say today, other than just. Uh, Looks like Kai's in the front row now. It feels great to be alive! I'm starting to feel like it's getting that time of year again, folks. Vitamin C, um, <laughs> vitamin A, vitamin D, and uh, enough sunshine. As you can tell, I'm on the BC ferries. Hey, Freddie, what's up, buddy? Arguably the best league in Canada. Victoria's got some, some good rugby over there, but um, and these guys have just been having a dominant season. The Ravens are uh, uh, 6-0, and undefeated all season long. And I am not sitting on my ass on the ferry. I'm walking around. I'm getting fresh air. I'm, um, I'm doing what I can. I've got a couple of brothers from down under in Africa I've met uh, in the lovely country of Uganda. So what's but I'm What's life like there in Uganda? In fact, in Uganda, currently... It feels great to be alive! Unfortunately, unfortunately... Oh, 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 Ronald, Ronald, I think we can do it! It's happening, buddy! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, all the way from Gulu. Gulu, Uganda, Africa, Mr. Ronald Ukumu. It feels great to be alive! Can you see me? Maybe you need a flashlight or something, but that's okay. Yeah. Awesome. It's really dark in, the, in Uganda. Tell me a little bit about yourself. To not get into that place like every year this time of year, um, certainly for Canadians and those of us in the northern hemispheres around the world. Um, let's see if we can be more aware, you know, through the, as the winters get on and we, we get away from, you know, the uh, routine where all of a sudden we're just not getting enough exercise and we're not getting the blood pumping and we're not uh, being as happy as we are, let's say, in the summertime. Woo! I need to listen to some Pearl Jam! I feel the Actually, from Northern Uganda. Oh, yeah. I'm a teacher by profession. <laughs> so I do teach this free and uh, CRE. That's my subject of specialization. Happiness is a mindset. Happiness starts from within. Energy starts from within. But it's not the only thing you can do. You're an educator. Let's talk about Ugandan education. Do the youth of uh, Uganda get a healthy education? They have to pay for. When they say no one's home, that means they're gonna kick it. Okay, the guy, these guys are on it. <laughs> you can socialize. You can be uh, together with one another. Facebook Live, man. All over the world streaming. All right. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, in oh, Uganda, yeah. if you want education, you have to pay for it. Oh, yeah. But then um, there's what we call uh, UPE, 
and then USH. Shine on your people, everybody. At Jericho hey. Beach. Yeah, I just love watching these guys. They're so big and strong. They're just killing it out there. And Ravens went undefeated through the regular season. That looks like they're going to cruise here to uh, some of final victory over Capilano. <laughs> well, thank you, Gail. Be our guest, she says. Try to love one another right now. As a First Nations uh, former uh, chief of the Musqueam Indian Band, uh, that means a lot, uh, Gail, coming from you. Thank you very much. Although the quality of education in UPE it is not the standard, most of the pupils from well-to-do family, they tend to go in private entity or private school. They have to pay for it to get the service of education. You can sing to your heart's desire, even if you're not a good singer like me on Facebook. Why not? What school do you teach at? Do you teach at yes. private or public? I first started from the uh, government school. Okay. That is the UPE school. Then uh, from there I proceeded. I completed my high school from private school. No, 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 no. Mama, mia, mama, mia. let me go. And then I managed to perform well. Then there were some well wishers who came in and they, they helped me to go in the university. <laughs> Then I completed my course in education. I started my education from the from the from the entity. Okay. We will not let you go. Let him go. We will not let you go. here from Langara Lodge, the, uh, the brains behind the operation. I got a little bit of the brawn. All right, Facebook Live, you did an awesome job with this program. I have moved out of our own place or where I was born. Uh, it is in Northern Uganda. In Gulu? In the district called Kitigum. That's where I've, uh, I, I was born from. At the moment, I'm, I'm not in Kitigum just because I'm looking for something for survival. Yeah. <laughs> in central region there's a place called chiboga chiboga district i am working in a certain elementary school as a teacher what are the biggest challenges that people in uganda face today very good The biggest, 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 the biggest challenge that is, that is in Uganda, the most important one is about the freedom, the freedom that the country, the, the country is not free. There is a lot of uh, insecurity in the country, a lot of brutality from the security. Yeah. 
then there is also a problem of um, of uh, killing, unnecessary killing of people. You know. Yeah. Uh, everybody is living at the uh, at the at the at the risky life, you know. Yeah. You cannot move freely. So in Uganda, uh, there's also a level of poverty. That is the biggest thing. People strive to put things on the table <laughs> right. you know high level of poverty and there's high level of illiteracy because there are people who are from family who could not afford to pay for quality education right. so they end up going in in the government school where they don't offer the basic education for this uh for the, for the citizens they end up not having a good foundation yeah. and therefore only those ones who are able, those ones, the well to do, the well to do are the only ones who are accessing quality education but those ones who are from a, a poor family, they cannot access quality education. When there is no quality education, of course people will not get enlightened, they will not get the basic skills and they continue to be in that poverty level. So the reason for the poverty, it is coming about by... In the finals of next week, can you believe it? My son Ty, he's, uh, he's 17 years old, he's been playing sports his whole life, he's never had that feeling of winning a championship. Hey, hey, let's go! Hot people not receiving the quality education that can equip them with skills then it is coming about by government not creating jobs and at first the quality the, the education system in uganda it is not practical it's more of theory i can't, I, I can't believe it i'm not trying to brag but I mean, maybe it's because we had so much more diversity in sport back in the day. Oh my goodness, by the time I was in grade 12, how many championships I had won? So it makes people not to understand if there is any means that education system in Uganda is to be put in the practical manner. People can create their own job right. and they, there will be job markets for people. But education system in Uganda is more of theory. It is not practical. Okay. So that is the biggest problem in Uganda. I yes. understand. Of course, as my mom pointed out, too, half of those were, you know, in a very, very small pool in uh, uh, Nelson, BC. I am in the Queen City, Nelson, Nelson, BC. I'm in Nelson. Let's do this, folks. Woo! Woo! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Of course, Ottawa, Ottawa had some pretty tough uh, tournaments, basketball, tournaments, volleyball. If you could give your students very practical, pragmatic advice, you know, when they're getting out of school, if, if you could give them a toolbox, what, were the, what would be the kind of things that you would say to them if you were free to give them good advice to be a, a survivor and a thriver in the Ugandan society? Man, oh man, I, do I miss white water. This is a dynamite run, double black diamond. No hill in North America has as many black diamonds, double black diamonds as yours truly. Woo! It's cool out here. Yeah, actually, for us, we have the syllabus, you know. As a teacher, you have to follow the syllabus. Right, exactly. And it is established by the Ministry of Education right. you know? right. and Sport. And you have to follow it. Realize this was live. You know it, girl. You know it. That's no one does more big E TV lives than yours truly. Examination evaluation is done according to those syllabus. So if you do anything out outside the syllabus, even your learners are going to fail. Join me weeknight, six o'clock. Uh, Mindset Monday, uh, Teen Tuesday, Wellness Wednesday, and of course Thirsty Thursdays. Whitewater Bridge Columbia, yes, you know it's true, yours truly, I feel a part of this mountain. They shall not uh, pass the examination because it is a system, because it is a system, the system, the system, the system, the system, the system. The system. The system. The system. Hey, Cardi, nice to meet you, my new Facebook friend. Okay, everybody, that's it. Biggie, join me, Mindset Monday.
only that we can uh, encourage them to do some practical things, although it is not included in the what in the syllabus. Right. What would you say to your students if you had the freedom to give them good advice to help them survive and thrive in Uganda, make an impact on their life? What would you say to them? Nor sleet nor slush will keep the ravens from. Oh! Well, all you happy spirits on there in Facebook, enjoy your weekend. Boy, cancel! Nice. Oh, 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 nice play. The best things that I would tell them, I said, in Uganda, you are to struggle. Your future is in your hand. The future is in the hand of that person. It is not anybody to come and help them. So it is about them now to be creative enough to make them get out of their situation, out of the poverty. Whoa, good take, good take. Good job, fellas. So it is about them now to reason, to go extra mile. This. Yeah, 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 get ready, get ready. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, oh, wow. To reason to go extra mile. This. Oh, nice play. To so not only enclose themselves within the standard of the government, but they should go extra miles and do other things for themselves. Yeah. Okay. Big E, and we will catch you mindset Monday. What kind of a government is in Uganda? Is that a, a, a demo democratically elected government? So in Uganda. But I'm going to try to have a conversation that's a little bit bigger than ourselves. I'm starting to see who the real Big E fans are. Okay, I'm going to have to do something real special for you. <laughs>